What's up guys, welcome to another product feedback video. In this review we'll be checking out the Monster Clarity HD. This was sent out to me by Monster as for review purposes and when I first received it I thought, hey look at this small little speaker thing, I highly doubt it's going to pump out any sound at all. And believe me, was I proven wrong. Inside the box you get the USB cable, a carry case as well as the unit itself. It sat on my desk for a few days, it looked quite neat, looked very simple, it's got the nice glossy black up the top, you've got the uh, answer phone call, plus and minus volume, and skip forward and next track on the right, and on the back you've got a on off connection USB charging port 3.5mm audio in, and underneath just some rubber feet to hold it in place, where along the front you've got the speaker grill. So I thought, hey look, it looks quite good, we'll let it sit for a little while on my desk and I'll try it out a few days later. So out comes my iPhone, I hooked it up, and wow was I proven wrong. This thing pumps, literally. Have a listen, I'll show you. In terms of battery life, I had it charging for about two and a half hours straight away. And in terms of actual playback, I got about four and a half to five hours playing mainly house tracks and that sort of type of music. So yeah, I mean, this is called the Clarity HD, so it's not really designed for the iPhone, but you can use it with the iPhone. They have another version, I believe, called iClarity, which you can uh, use for the iPhone and specifically designed for that. But this one here is mainly focused for devices that support Bluetooth and Bluetooth streaming. So the catalog that it actually comes with mentions a lot about BlackBerry. And to actually control the next track and the, and the previous track, you actually have to have a device which supports a certain Bluetooth protocol, which the iPhone doesn't, but you can still play your music through. I used this also for a few phone calls. It came out really, really clear. The person on the other end heard me very, very well. Um, for those people looking for maybe a, a portable desk, a uh, hands-free solution for receiving calls, this thing would definitely do the job. But in terms of music, this thing really, really shines. The way I believe it works is that there's two speakers on the front and there's actually a passive subwoofer on the bottom and what happens as a kind of a limitation because of there's so much bass coming from it, it actually vibrates. So one of the only big downsides for me is the fact that I wish it was a little bit heavier so it wouldn't vibrate around on the desk. But yeah, you pump this up full volume 100% and you're going to be getting some really, really, really clear crisper sound, no distortion or nothing. And this is also an advantage for those who have, say, like a notebook or an iPad and want an external speaker system, just something on the go on, on, to be portable. This thing would be uh, extremely well suited for that purpose. There, I've tried lots of other iPod docks on the market, usually sub $200 and a few over $200. I don't know what the Australian recommended retail for this product, but I believe in the US is about $150. Believe me, it's $150 worthwhile. You would not regret paying that sort of money for it because the sound that it comes out with is extremely good especially in comparison to all the other ones that are available make sure that you have subscribed to my channel we've got a whole heap of other videos coming in the future to be updated on the latest product feedback videos make sure that you have subscribed